Hi. Is anyone else seeing numbers, repeated numbers, synchronicities? Because these can be very powerful and these can lead you to the life you want, if you let it. But before we talk about that, I want to share a story of a number that followed me. This number has followed me for many years, seemingly out of nowhere. But it makes sense too. This number is 116. You see, a lot of people see 222, 111, 1111, or so on. But this number 116 has been following me for many, many years. I can name many, many instances where this number has amazed me. And every time I follow this number, it leads me to abundance and clarity. I will share one story of this number. One day I was meditating. And as I'm recording this, the recorder actually paused at 116, so that's funny. But anyway, so as I was meditating on 116, I felt a shake in the house. A really big shake, like an earthquake. Granted, I live in Ohio, so there's not much earthquakes. It was enough for me to leave the house. And as I left the house, I saw other neighbors outside. And they're like, what's going on? What's going on? And a house blew up, I guess. I drove around and looked around and saw that the police were blocking off this road that was about a mile or two away from the house. And there was a gas explosion. Luckily, no one was in it. So I didn't think too much of it. I mean, it's crazy that the house blew up. But other than that, I didn't really correlate the two. Until the next day, I saw in the local news about the house that exploded. And the house that exploded address was 116. Just as I was meditating on 116. So what is the correlation between these numbers? Why do they create so much in our life? So was 116 and the house exploding just a coincidence? Could have been. But truly, I believe it's more than that. And if I shared all my experiences with this number, this video would be well over an hour or two long. But I just wanted to show you how the number doesn't have to be repeated like 111 or 222 for it to follow you. So what happens when we see this? So it depends. If you keep focusing on this number, like if I keep focusing on 116, I might attract more things that are 116. So I could have attracted that house exploding because I was meditating on 116. However, I was meditating on it because it was popping up constantly throughout that day. So I was trying to meditate on what does that mean? But if you are thinking, I want to manifest seeing 111 or 888 or, you know, whatever number, and it pops up then it's most likely your manifestation of that number. Meaning, you most likely manifested it because you were thinking of it. I mean, just like anything else in this world, we manifest what we think about. But if this number is following you, no matter what, you don't think about it and it just pops in your head, it pops on the clock, it pops everywhere, then this number is trying to tell you something. You see, 116 doesn't have much meaning to me other than it's kind of close to my birthday. My birthday is November 16th. So that would technically be 1116. And that's really the only correlation I had between that. And the first time I actually saw 116 was when I woke up in the middle of the night having a dream about, ironically, winning $116 million. And I woke up at 116 AM. So that's where it started. So what do these numbers mean? How can you figure out what your number means? What I did is I did a combination of things. I looked it up, you know, I looked up angel number 116. I, you know, I just looked it up online. And then the other time I meditated on it. And I think this is the most powerful thing you can do. So I don't know if you guys noticed but when you look up numbers like 101, 222, 333, and so on online, you kind of notice that a lot of them have like the same meaning. I mean, 
they have like slightly different meanings but they all kind of mean the same so it can get a little confusing right so something is trying to get to us whether it's our you know our spirit guides or our higher self or just the universe trying to speak through us i would say to pick one site just pick one site and only use the interpretation from that one site so that the universe your spirit guides or your higher self kind of knows look they're going to go to this site to check out the numbers so they can kind of pick and choose from that website's uh database that's just my personal opinion is what i would do but the best way to probably do it is to meditate on it meditate on what that number means to you you see after that house exploded i knew i knew that something was trying to get my attention and i wasn't listening as much as they wanted to you see before i meditated on this number i seen 116 a lot and i'd be like oh that's cool that's cool it's weird it's cool but I never really looked too much into it until I started meditating on that day. And so I feel like the symbolism was a physical sensation, like shaking me, like pay attention, dude. I'm trying to tell you something. And that number has led me to many, many things. But it's only after I followed that number and followed it, meaning... I would be certain places and I would see that so I would know to make the right decision. And I just follow it. I trust it. I have it tattooed on my leg. I trust that number. So there may be a number that you have that follows you. And maybe it's weird. You know, maybe it's like a a weird number. It doesn't have to be repeated. Maybe it's like, you know, 283 or you know, something random like that. And if you start seeing this number. What should you do? Well, for one, you should make sure that there's not a car with a loud bass going by while you're recording. (laughs) For one, you should make sure that you're not just focusing on that number and it's popping up in your life because you're focusing on it. So once you've got rid of that, then you move on to the next step. And I would say the next step would be to look it up on a website. There's so many. Find one that you like and stick to that one. Don't look up up meanings on other websites. Just find one that resonates with you and just stick to that one. And then three would be to meditate on it. Just meditate. Ask, what are you trying to tell me? What does it mean? What does this number mean for me? And... Like me, you might get a physical answer. Hopefully nothing bad happens. And I'm glad that when that situation happened with the house, that no one was hurt, luckily. Um, I can't even say that. I guess some <laughs> some houses were damaged nearby. But no one was physically, you know, no one died or anything like that. That's another video for another, you know, day is to be careful, you know, what you're thinking about because, you know, houses can quite literally explode but anyway so meditate on it look it up on one website that you resonate with and see what that means and then follow it don't think about it i don't think about it ever it just is there and think about it so when you see it when you see your number everyone's number is going to be different when you see that number i want you to stop whatever you're doing and i want you to think What am I thinking right now? What am I feeling right now? And most of the time, within that time frame of like 10 to, you know, 10 minutes or so of you seeing that number, there's a correlation between what it's trying to communicate with you. So pay attention. Use your intuition, your subtle intuition to really figure out what these numbers mean for you. They're powerful. It's happening to a lot of people. People are seeing these numbers like crazy. They can't mean nothing. It has to mean something. Can't Everything just can't be a coincidence. So comment down below what your number is. Are you seeing, you know, the common repeated numbers? Are you seeing actual, you know, number that no one really is talking about? So comment down below. And I wonder if any of you are seeing 116. Maybe we can share stories if you are. But if you're not, comment down below your number because I'm really curious to see 
some of the stories that have happened to you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.